I guess today's as good a day as any to take down a thunder god. Good morning, Quill. Did you sleep well? Okay, we should be heading to Mount Sunner to do a shift re-rescue, right? But Alkazam said that we should be properly prepared before we try. What should we do? We can go to Mount Thunder right now or later. It's up to you. But anyways, let's do our best, like always. First things first. Remember Magnemite. This is the foot of Mount Thunder. I wonder, is Alex Sam's team already on their way? Zapdos. Sounds very tough. Brr, I'm shaking. I can't be scared now. Our objective is simple. We're rescuing Shiftry. Shadowquill, let's try our best. We began our climb up Mount Thunder with a lot of tension and worry. Our team wasn't exactly the most well equipped to deal with electric type Pokemon. Especially one as ferocious as Zapdos. But at least we had Magnemite with us this time. I felt a little bit better, knowing I wasn't going into this alone. Not only did I have my teammates by my side, but the ACT as well. Hmm. A-C-T. Alakazam, Charizard, Tyranitar? Okay, now I don't feel so bad about naming our team Go-Getters. But seriously, those guys are no joke. They should have no problem in taking on Zapdos and saving Shiftry all on their own. Us, on the other hand, we may not be so lucky. So why is it that we didn't all go in here together? They could have protected us and ensured that we all made it out of here alive. Perhaps that's the whole point. If they had to spend this time babysitting us, then we shouldn't have come along in the first place. We need to do this on our own so that we could prove ourselves. Not only that, but it'll help us get stronger as well. There won't always be an all-star rescue team like the ACT available to help any Pokemon that's in trouble. That's why there's more than one rescue team in the world to begin with. The world needs more heroes. Even if we can't compare to them, that doesn't mean we shouldn't continue trying. Not for the sake of competing, but to play our part in helping other Pokemon simply because it's the right thing to do. All of us are capable of doing something. It's all about taking the initiative to do it. Some Pokemon have the power to make a difference in the world, but simply choose not to, either because of other life obligations or because they don't truly realize their full potential. Perhaps it's covered up by fear or insecurities, or maybe they're just looking out for themselves. For me, it's never been a question as to whether I should or shouldn't. If I have the opportunity to help someone, I have to take it. If I fail, that's not great, but what matters is that I tried. And that effort will be seen by other Pokemon, who will then get inspired and motivated to try and take the charge themselves. That's why you gotta keep trying, even if failure is inevitable. Who's to really say if that's truly going to be the case? You won't know until you try. All of us started at level 1 at one point or another. And while we all have different paths that lead to new level ups, as well as stats that garner different results in battle, we're all capable of gaining more and more experience every single day. All you gotta do is try, because regardless of whether you win or lose, or whether you survive or fail, in the end, the experience will still be just that. Experience. It will always make you stronger, and wiser, and more prepared for the road ahead. So yeah, I know we could do this, but not just that, we have to. That's what life is all about. It's a leap of faith. We came across an empty room. There were no Pokemon, only a Kangaskhan statue. It had the power to protect us in case things went bad in the rooms ahead. We wouldn't have to go through the entire dungeon again if we were to fail. We would just end up here. I can't believe Kangaskhan went through all that trouble to make it all the way out here so that she can make another little device to help us. It was really incredible. 
As we approached further and further to the top of Mount Thunder, it occurred to me that we never ran into Alakazam's team along the way. Were they already at the top? Or did something happen to them? Only one way to find out. This is the summit. Hey, Zapdos! Where are you? We came to rescue Shiftry! Come out! Wah! I warned you I have no mercy for meddlers! Not scared. You don't frighten me. Hey, Zapdos! Release Shiftry! We're a Pokemon rescue team! You must be determined to utter such words! Then you shall answer! To my great and righteous fury! It's time to face off against the legendary Pokemon Zapdos. I don't think Alakazam's team even made it up here. To think that even they weren't able to do it. So now we have to do this all on our own. Mudkip was incredibly frail when it came to electric attacks. So I had to make sure that we healed up in case we ever got too low. But maybe going at it with brute force wouldn't be our way to victory. We had items like blast seeds and graveler rocks, as well as technical attacks like supersonic and smokescreen. That would probably be our key to victory. If we could just stall for long enough, keep Zapdos from attacking us, that would ensure our ability to survive and it would help us take it down, slowly but surely. This was a very agitated Pokemon, and incredibly fast, but we just kept pushing forward. We had to give it our all. If we just keep on pushing, keep on trying, then eventually, we will succeed. What is going on? You want more? I'll take you on. Enough! That's enough fighting! I'm calm down! You can take Shifri back. You kids, uh... You've impressed me, but... Things won't be easy the next time. I will go all out next time, so you'd best be prepared. But until then, you better hone your skills. Look! Your shift tree! Are you okay? Ugh. Oh uh, yeah. Somehow I am. I'm glad you're safe. But that was an eye-opener. Driving off that Zapdos. I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Cyndaquil. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps... You aren't a Pokémon, are you? Wow! How can you tell that? But you're right. Cyndaquil isn't a Pokémon. The real name is Jeffrey. And they're a human. What? A human? Is that possible? Can something like that happen? Cynical doesn't understand very much either. Cynical woke up one morning here as a Pokemon. And doesn't remember anything about being a human. Oh wait! Lombre said something in the square. He said Alakazam knows everything. Alakazam, could you figure out why Santa Quill became a Pokemon? No. I can't determine that. Oh, I thought you were no. However, there is a way for unveiling the truth. Oh, really? How? Make way to the Hill of the Ancients. There you will find a Pokemon that stares into the sun all day. A Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his name. 
he should shed light on your puzzling friend. Okay, so we should go see Zatu. Cinequil, let's go. Off to the Hill of the Ancients. We can't waste any time. Let's go back quick. Shifter, you too. Let's hurry back. Uh, yeah, I guess we should. Cinequil, don't just stand there. Let's go home. Alakazam, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? There is something that concerns me, but it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. <laughs>